Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and today I have another After Effects tutorial for you guys and this one's a little bit different. It's gonna be less of a tutorial but more of like a showcase of a plugin that people ask me. They're asking me like, how do you do this effect in this music video or whatever? And um, it's called pixel sorting. And I don't know how you do it without the plugin. I'm sure there's a way someone that knows more about it could probably explain it. But the way that I do it is with a plugin called AE Pixel Sorter off of aescripts.com. And that's 40 bucks. But uh, I did find recently an alternative that looks almost, it might be better than Pixel Sorter. Um, just taking a look at what they have here and just uh, the examples they show. It might be better and it's actually cheaper. It's $15 or you can pay more apparently uh, if you like it that much. But uh, it's $15 bucks, uh, for the plugin and that's going to allow you to do this cool looking effect. Uh, I, I think it looks awesome. It's a lot like data moshing but, uh, but not. Um, so let me just talk about how to do it real quick. As you can see from the examples, you can just you can animate the growth of it, and you can make it go bigger and smaller. Um, and it's super simple. This this example took me like 30 seconds because it, all you do you download the effect and then you install it and you pay for it. I mean that's the probably like the only downside to doing this effect is that it costs money. But uh, you know in After Effects and video editing, not everything's free all the time, but uh, you throw it on there, and I actually already have Pixel Sorter on there, so you uh, take your effect, put it on your clip, and then you have AE Pixel Sorter, and the way this thing works is it works through highlights and shadows. So I'll take, uh, in this example, let's just go ahead and take the shadows, and then as you can see, we're already seeing some growth, so let's just start it at zero. That's how our clip looks with it at zero, and then we'll bring it up to like 120. And as you can see there, we already have this cool looking glitch effect. And if you were to play that clip through, it's gonna look pretty awesome. Um, and so that's the shadows. And then we can also do the highlights. Since sorry if I'm all burpy, I just ate. Uh, it's probably not a good idea to be spitting all this talk after I just ate, but uh, sorry. So you have the highlights. The highlights don't really come up with much because there's not really a sh much to show there. But the shadows, that picks up a lot of detail. And you can also change it from column to row. And that makes it go left to right. And then you can also do both so that it's just totally messed up. And as you can see, you just with the keyframe right here, you can animate the growth to go from zero to 100. Um, it just looks pretty awesome. And this effect is super easy to do. Uh, and so if you want to take another clip, so let's just delete that real quick. And we'll throw on uh, this one. This one looked pretty cool too. Throw on AE Pixel Sorter. Then we'll go ahead and grab the shadows because in this example, again, the shadows are a lot more defined than the highlights. Uh, the shadows in this clip are just the little water, like all the water in the scene is going to be picked up as a shadow. So we'll grab that and then we'll bring that up to like 190, 231. Look at that. So on, off, on, off, on. Then we'll change that to row and then on, off, on, off. So that's pixel sorting. And uh, if you want to see some more examples, I will, of course, I'll leave a link to both of these plugins in the description. And um, as we can see here, here's some more examples of how it could be used. Uh, right here, it's really cool. They added an effect on this girl's face of, uh, they motion tracked some fire to her face and then added on the fire some pixel sorting. Um, I can imagine that would be really cool to be used in like a music video. Um, as you can see right here, this guy's face is being tracked in, and then the pixel sorting is making him look all glitchy. Um, pixel sorting right here, on this probably like, it's probably like the matrix text falling down. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, on their page they have uh, a tutorial for it, but I see questions asked all the time in the comments about how do I do this effect, this glitch effect. Um, it's called pixel sorting, and the way I do it is with this plugin. It's like an older version of this plugin. Um, you can try it out, 40 bucks for this one, $15 for this one, you get an awesome effect. And this video, I just want to say, is in no way sponsored at all. I was not sponsored to make this and I was not asked to make this video. I was just asked by my subscribers how I did this effect and I have replied to a few of you, but I figured it would make for a cool video if I just talked about the way that I did pixel sorting. Because um, I, I see people on the After Effects subreddit, I frequent that a lot, and I see people asking all the time, how do I do this effect, and it's either pixel sorting, 50% of the time it's pixel sorting, and 50% of the time it is data moshing. Um, and maybe I'll do a tutorial on data moshing too, because data moshing is uh, just as cool, if not cooler, than pixel sorting. They're both really awesome though. So that's pretty much it. Not much else to talk about. Pixel sorting, awesome effect in After Effects. Uh, pick up those plugins if you want to do it. And if there's a way to do it uh, without paying for it, then I'm sure, I'm sure there is, but I just don't know how to do it. Um, I just found this to be the easiest way. So, hope you guys did enjoy. 
Uh, pixel sorting and After Effects, very easy, very simple. A little bit of money, but you know, not too bad. I will see you guys in the next one.